Hey everyone, welcome into Scheming with Schwartz. I am Jeff Schwartz. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do an empty protection tutorial in the simplest form. Five offensive linemen, obviously, a four-man front, two linebackers. We're going to go over the rules. Every pass protection has got to have rules. That's how you keep order on the field, especially up front. So we'll go over the rules, the reasons for empty protection. What are we trying to get done in empty protection? I'll give you a film example. This is going to be a series. So we're going to have the, the one today, hopefully one in about a week or so, where we have more complicated issues an empty protection with a five-man front or with an odd front or with a walk-around front. We'll go over all those issues, but today I want to talk about base rules and how we handle simple pressures in empty protection, a big part of our game. It's something that I don't think we fully grasp the rules and how important it is to follow those rules in any of these protections. If you like this, if you don't, whatever, please leave a comment at Jeff Schwartz on Twitter rate this, share this, whatever you want to do, but please let me know if you have any questions about empty protection. All right, let's get into it. Welcome everyone. Let's talk about empty protection. Like every protection, this protection has rules and the rules help us with the issues that happen in this protection. We have five offensive linemen to block any number of defenders in the box. There are six in this box right here. We block the five most dangerous of the six included in that are the base rules of the protection. This is a slide protection. We have the four defensive linemen and one linebacker. In this case, we're going to slide to the right here. So we're going to have this linebacker over here. That puts this extra linebacker here as the player that we have to account for if this player decides to bring pressure. He is the guy who could make this protection difficult on the offensive lineman on this side and as well the quarterback. When we break down the rules of the protection, because we're sliding to the right, you can basically make this just like a normal slide protection. We have one, two, and a linebacker here. You basically can cut off this side of line of, scrim line of scrimmage from the discussion of the empty protection rules. That puts this side of the line of scrimmage where all the focus should be and how we handle any extra defender. These two offensive linemen right here have a dual protection. They have two of the three most dangerous. How they get to block two of the three will be dependent on where these guys end up and the technique that the offensive linemen are going to use. As you can see here, we're going to focus in on the left tackle and the left guard and they have this dual protection they have two of the most dangerous three defenders to get these guys blocked the technique they're going to use is called a vertical set they're going to set back like this a jelly set a vertical set to keep eyes on one two and three if one and two rush is normal quick peek at the linebacker and you block your guy but the issues become when this linebacker decides to insert into the rush. As these guys set back and the linebacker triggers, the first guy that has to make a decision, and it's a no-brainer, and it is the rule, is the left guard right here. The left guard sees the linebacker coming in his A-gap as he's jelly setting. He closes the door on this guy. The tackles look at the linebacker. There's one, one most dangerous, two most dangerous right here, two most dangerous. He closes the door on number two. This guy right here ends up being hot for the quarterback. We jelly set again. Tackle goes in. Backer comes down. End as well. Guard has number one, right? Tackle right there. Now, the left tackle has a decision to make. Most coaches will teach an immediate close the door on the linebacker as he is perceived to be an easier route to the quarterback being inside right here. If a tackle sets back as he should, you buy yourself a little bit more time to close the door on this guy. When setting back, the end has got to widen a little bit and keep a little bit of a wide rush. If you immediately close the door right now, this end does have an opportunity to get to the quarterback quicker. There is a school of thought that says if this linebacker is back here in this position right now, 
the actually the defensive end is the player who is more dangerous for the quarterback right here. And the offensive tackle is to ignore the B-gap rusher and block the, the defensive end. So it can be taught in two different ways. It can be taught to close the door right now, and it can be taught to block the defensive end. If this linebacker is creeped up at all when he hits, it's 100% the left tackle comes down and blocks the linebacker. That leaves, again, this player right here, the furthest player, the widest player to the quarterback down here. It's always important for the center to just have a little bit of a peak ski at this linebacker as they set because there could be a cross dog situation. If these guys set back and this linebacker comes here and this linebacker comes here. In this situation, both the left guard and the, and the right tackle, excuse me, left tackle come down. The left tackle forces the center off on this guy. The left guard blocks the second linebacker and the left tackle comes in here. Those are the three primary rushes you're going to get from an empty formation. Again, you want to take five of the six most dangerous and make sure the quarterback has to worry about the widest or the, the defender that takes the longest to get to him. Let's see how this would look on film. All right, here's a good film example of what we're talking about empty. This is as simple as it gets, right? You have the five offensive linemen like we talked about, the quarterback, and six defenders. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have five of the most six dangerous. In this situation, the center's going to slide to the right. So they're going to ID 52 right here. The center's going to turn this direction. The guard has the nose, which you'll see doesn't actually do very well. And the left tackle here ends up with the duel with the, with the guard, uh, with the shade right here. The guard doesn't really have to see through, but he will. He will have to see through. You'll see what happens here. This is the player that they are going to identify as the dual guy, right? One, two, three. Dual side over here. So let's just watch what happens really quick. Oh, there he comes, and no one knows what to do. Not exactly. And 96 is going to kill the quarterback. But let's go back. We'll, we'll walk this one through because it doesn't seem as hard as they make it out to be. So the left tackle should be I-57. The left guard should be I-57. The center has 52. He should not He should not be here. I don't know what he's looking at. He's doing it wrong. Watch the left tackle here. He kicks up. Oh, he sees right away 57 coming. He's closing the door right now. Remember, we talked about this, though, is that some coaches will tell you if 57 is, is stationary, five yards off the ball, that you need to block the defensive end. But in this case, rookie from last season, he's going to do what the coach tells him to do explicitly, and this is the base of the rules. So here he goes. He's going to close the door right now. The left guard has got to have eyes to 57. He's also part of the duel. He's not paying attention where he has to go. And because of that, the center, who has 52, and it might be cross-dogging here, is trying to find a way to block one or both of these guys. And the quarterback ends up getting killed. So what should happen, right? What should happen is the left guard, should come off here. Boom. The left tackle. Boom. As he does. Right there. Left guard. Right there. Close the door. Done. 54. Blocked by 77. already there. Center 52. And this guy on the quarterback, remember? Which took two of the three most dangerous. Now, again, you can argue that guy's more dangerous than him. But this is the way they're blocking. They're doing base rules. I like it. Here he comes. Oh, and quarterback gets killed. No. Look at the TV view. No. Boom. Oh, no. It could be avoided. Quarterback, pay attention to what you're doing. 